Hi everyone. I thought I would do a little bit of a um, tutorial on how I set up my printer uh, to print. Now I've had you know a number of people contact me they're having issues printing and so you know let's just do something really quick and hopefully you'll get a better understanding. Now this is for Windows 10 so if you have anything else the layout's going to be a little bit different um, but I think most people do have Windows 10 now so I thought it might be appropriate. So I'm going to try not to get into the frame here so bear with me while I do this. Okay, now, what you want to do first off is go to your settings. So down in the Windows area, you hit the little, you know, thing that looks like a window frame, and you go to your settings, and then you want to go to your devices. See, it says Bluetooth printers and mouse. So open that up. Then on this side, you're going to find printers. So go to printers. I know it's a lot of steps to take, but find your printer. And then hit manage. Okay. Now when you're in manage your printer, you want printing preferences. Now. I have mine set up so that it is printing in a landscape mode because when my pages come out they usually come out like this. Now say I've printed, oh, hopefully that's in frame, I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, say I've printed you know something that's in the portrait mode then what I want to do is turn it. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. So now here is where you're going to set everything up. Now I have borderless off, mine is set for photo papers because that's pretty much what I print on. But if you just normally print on regular paper, you hit the drop down menu and you change that. Okay, so there's a whole list of different things. Now say you have uh, photo paper, but it isn't made by Hewlett Packard or whatever the name of your printer is that you're using, then you would hit other. Now, it makes a difference if you're hitting the glossy or the matte or an inkjet. All of those th features make a difference to your print quality. If you're printing just on a regular paper, make sure it isn't set for photo. You will get an oversaturation of ink and then your print will turn out really bad. If you don't have it set for photo, and you're using photo paper, opposite happens. You might find a whole bunch of white lines where the ink, because it didn't overspray, that's what it does in photo setting. Okay, so once you have that set, now you can go ahead and set this for a board, you know, if you want a, always to print in borderless, you can set it for that. However, if you mostly don't print that way, keep it at that, but in, when you go to print, you can actually change it, okay? So we, uh, I always do print one sheet because that's normal. I don't want to set up five and have five things printing every single time I print something. So this is like your general what I print uh, mostly, okay? So then you hit okay. You've got that set up. Now you can print a, a test page. I mean, it's not necessary, but... You can if you like. So we'll close this out. And then what I'm going to do is open up a file. And I'm going to open the one that I just showed you because it is in a landscape mode. So I'm just going to show you how you can change it on your screen. Oh, sorry. Um, I have to unplug this and plug my file in. Sorry, sorry. Forgot about that. And hopefully you're still in frame. I'll just close that for a second. There it is. Okay. That's an external hard drive, by the way. Okay. So here, here it is now. And it looks correct for me because I've already said it. But let's go back. Now this is how I designed it. Now if I don't want it to print, if I go to go ahead and print this way, 
this is what will happen. In your window, you see you've cut them off. It's not going to fit. Or some things might appear jumbo size to you because it's not in the right format that the original file was saved. So what you do in this case is you close that out, you have to flip your image. You have to wait a couple of seconds or when you go to print it'll come up and there'll be no picture in that window and that's what will print. <laughs> it says no image uh, and I know these things because, <laughs> because I've done them. So now it's in my window. It's set for uh, landscape, which is what I want. Now I'm not. I am using a photo uh, HP photo paper. How, however, if I wasn't, you just do your drop down and you just scroll until you find other photo inkjet papers, and that's where I would set it. Okay. If you're printing, even even when I'm printing on a heavier weight photo paper because there is one that says thick but that won't give me the right amount of ink uh, it recognizes that it's a thicker paper but it doesn't improve my print quality so I still set it for photo okay so now I've got that set for HP this you can change how many copies you need I always take this off because if you have it so it, it sets it up for you, then, you know, sometimes it's not going to print the way you want it. So I always keep that box unticked. I always keep it on full page, normal. Now, if I wanted borderless, um, you go down, you see down, you can scroll up. Now, fill page still doesn't do it. But if I did more settings, then you see up at the top here, this is what comes up. You can change it. So scroll across and you can change it to photo printing borderless. And it's a one-time deal. So if you don't have it permanently set for that, then each and every time you want to print a borderless, then you need to change it up at the top. Or it'll just go back to the default. I hope that makes sense to you. So now you see, this came out of my printer sideways. And then I just turn the page and it's correct okay so that's that's how that works and uh, and I wanted to show you those because they are in the store I've just uh, created these and I did them these are mm, 2.75 uh, inches by three and a half I believe and then I did them in the, in a mini version because I love doing mini anything uh, when I'm doing layering and stuff like that. So they're in the store right now if you want to go take a look. But I hope that helps you um, figure out your printing solutions. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.